going? Okay, praise God. Thank you, Father. Happy Sunday morning, everybody, and Feliz Domingo for la mañana. Pastor Jose and Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Band, a church you can call home. Amen. Yeah. Where we honor God, love family, serve others, and pursue excellence. Bienvenidos a la iglesia del nuevo comienzo. So we want to welcome all our NBC family, all visitors, and all those joining us by audio and video. Amen. And all we ask you to do is prepare yourselves to receive what God has for you. Amen. If you're not expecting anything, we got to pray for you. Because you should be expecting something, amen. Yes, amen. I want to be. I want to receive something, amen. I want to be blessed. I want to be encouraged. I want to change, and I want to be corrected, amen. And we need to do the same thing, Lord. You, I want you to bless me, amen. I'm not letting go until I hear from you, amen. And that's the attitude we need to take sometimes, amen. So anyway, we're going to be talking, continuing on, be available to Him. We need to make ourselves available to Him. He's done his part. God did his part. He sent Jesus. Jesus came, did his part. Now we have to make ourselves available to him Amen. because he wants to use us. He put you here for a reason, and that's for you to be winners, for you to be champions and complete what he called you to do. And how am I going to find out what he called me to do? Well, it's called relationship. It's called relationship, spending time with him, knowing what he wants me to do. The Bible says that we can do all things through him, through Christ who strengthens us. So I need strength on a daily basis to be with him and to know that he is with me everywhere I go. Amen. He never, he says he never leaves us nor forsake us. Amen. So if you feel uh, lonely, if you feel like I, mean, I ain't got it, it's because we need relationship. When you feel He's with you. When you have a relationship, you know God is with you. He's amen. never going to leave you. Amen. And he says we can do all things. Woo, I'm excited. I got lots of things. But we're just going to have peace about it. Amen. Grab your Bible, soldier of God. Amen. And uh, let's make this declaration together. Amen. And uh, here we go. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess my mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. This is great declaration. Amen. Woo. Thank you, Lord. So we're going to continue with be available to him. And you know, um, I just wanted to say this. Every church should have a ministry of helps we talked a little bit about ministry of helps last week you know where uh, the church helps the pastor because there's a lot of pastors uh, quitting because they want to do it all by themselves they, they can't do it all by themselves they need help and that's what we commit you know and we take his uh, anointing he, his, his uh, vision and fulfill what God has for the pastor in that church amen so let's remember that. But the ministry of helps is having enough loving people serving. Having enough loving people serving in the church. This is the church where we assemble ourselves together. And I wrote this just to, to let you know. It says there's no I, letter I, in the word team. Team stands for together. Everyone, all of us, accomplish or achieve more. Amen. Amen. So there's no I in the word team, but guess what? There's an I in the word unity. There's an I in the word united. We come as a body of Christ united in Him. Amen. And we come and function together as one. Amen. He's the head and we're the body. Amen. And together in unity we accomplish things amen Woo, hallelujah Lord. i don't know about you but I, i'm excited already just to be there amen. a couple of things i want to read to you before we get going here here's a nugget i want to share with you make your relationship with him your number one focus knowing that if you take care of that God will take care of you. Amen. Amen. Listen, make your relationship with him your number one focus. Know that if you take care of that, God will take care of you. Mm -hmm. He tells us in 1 Peter 5, 7 and 8. Ooh, man, we can open our Bibles already. Just go to 1 Peter 5, 7 and 8. I know 
you know the scripture, That's but right. you know it's okay to read it. Yes. First Peter 5, 7, and 8 says this. It says, casting all cares or all care on, upon him. Why? Because he cares for you. And then he tells us of uh, 7, says, be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as the roaring lion, yeah. walketh about, seeking yeah. whom he may devour. Mm -hmm. So he wants to steal, kill, <laughs> and destroy. This is our enemy, not your neighbor, yeah. <laughs> not the people not out man. there, but your enemy, yeah. the devil. Yeah. He comes to steal, kill, and destroy. And the, listen to the Amplified, casting the whole Cast in the whole of your care, mm -hmm. all your anxieties, all your worries, all your concerns, once and for all, on him. For he careth for you affectionately. Amen. And he cares about your watching, watchingly, watchingly. And uh, verse 8 says, be well balanced, tempered, sober by, of mind. Be vigilant and cautious at all times. For the enemy of yours, the devil, roams around like a lion roaring. In fierce hunger, seeking someone to cease and devour. He wants to devour you. Amen. But yeah. we give him no opportunity. Why? Because the Bible says to watch your words, watch your actions. Amen. Mm -hmm. Be vigilant and give him no place. Amen. So it also tells us to watch your words because your words open doors. Amen. Mm -hmm. So be very, very careful. So I just wanted to read that to you. Not only that, but it says in Matthew, we're going to see this uh, scripture again in a few minutes. Matthew 6.33, you can you can go there. Matthew 6.33, we, we know all these scriptures, but you know what? It's the word of God. And the more you read it, the more we grow. Yeah. And your faith grows, amen? So praise God, we want our faith to grow. Matthew 6.33 says, But seek first, seek ye first the kingdom of God, his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. And verse 34 says this, take therefore, no, uh, take therefore no thought for the morrow, for the morrow shall take thoughts of, for the things of itself, sufficient unto the day of it, evil thereof. Let me read it to you from the Amplified. It says, but seek, aim at, and strive at, first of all, his kingdom and his righteousness, his ways of doing and being right. And then all these things together, taken together, will be given you besides. And verse 34, so do not worry or be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will have worries and anxieties of its own, sufficient for each day it is its own trouble. Amen. Amen. So, hey, I don't want to worry about tomorrow because tomorrow's got its own troubles, its own worries. No, I'm going to take care of this right now. Huh? Today's got its own troubles. Yeah, today's got enough troubles. <laughs> we don't want tomorrow's troubles piling up on today's troubles. Amen? If you're doing it, if you're taking off for the rest of the week, you're going to have all kinds of problems. Amen? Yeah. So you know what? I love that song, One Day at a Time. Let's take one day at a time, amen, and forget about those things and cast it on Him. If you're not casting it, it's time you start casting those things on him. If you're not, he says, give it to me. <clears throat> Cast it on me. If yes. you don't give it, guess what? You're suffering because you're not willing to give it up. Basically, I'm saying, and I've said it many times, get off the throne and put him on the throne. Amen. Amen. <laughs> so when you do this, you're going to be relieved. Amen. Woo. Come on there. Amen. Praise God. I said all that to say, be available to him. If you're not making yourself available to him, you're making things hard on yourself. Yes. Amen. Remember, and we keep going. Go to the next one. Jesus was available. Are you? We're talking about being available, and we're going to find out what available means. Mm. Are you there? Mm. Amen. Are you there? Keep going. There we go. Here's where it's all beginning, right here. God says, I want my people back. So, go back. He says, God, who owed, <clears throat> who owed us nothing, gave us everything. Yes, he did. What did he give us? He says, for God so loved the world 
that he gave his only son yes. that whoever believeth in him shall not die or perish but have everlasting, everlasting life. life everybody knows this Amen. John three sixteen. God says son I'm going to send you and you're going to be sacrificed Jesus says okay dad <laughs> that's me oh. and he came and he, <clears throat> he accomplished what he came to do yes. yeah. Amen. and you know when he had opportunities to say father forget it you know, these people don't appreciate it. These people are just ugly. You know, look what they done to me. They crucified me. They put stripes on my back. And he could have got even and called legions of angels to come and destroy these people. Yeah. But he completed what the Father sent him to do. He says, I want my people back. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Amen. And Jesus says, He didn't he didn't he didn't die until he surrendered himself to the Father. But first he says, he said, forgive him. Forgive him. Amen. If, if he can go through all this and still ask forgiveness, yes. what about us? That's we don't it. even go through what he oh went through. Gosh. And we can't forgive one another oh, for Jesus. looking the wrong way or yes. saying the wrong things, you know. Mm -hmm. He's our greatest example. Yes, Amen. Yes. He's our greatest example. So... Be available to him and serve him passionately. Yes. We're passionate about so many things. Uh-huh. But we forget about Christ. Yeah. Amen. Well, Amen. I don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Mm. Keep going. There we go. It says Jesus paid it off. And there's many scriptures that talk about Jesus paying it off. Mm. He paid a debt he didn't know. That's a beautiful yes. song. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. Right. Amen. You know, your, yourself, <laughs> as a child of God, know that you don't belong to yourself. Mm -hmm. You belong to Him. Mm -hmm. It's by time you know mm -hmm. so that you can start serving Him. Yes. Say, Lord, I just want to be grateful and serve you. Amen. Amen. This one's uh, okay. You are available to be used by God. Are you available to be used by God? Are you a trophy or a tr uh, tool? No. Oh, Amen. Yes. Mm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Are you available? You know. Yeah. You you have to answer this. That's your choice. Mm -hmm. But you know, you can say yes or no. Yeah. <laughs> and there's only two ways to go. You can go up or you can go down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But it's not up to him. That's it. He paid the price. Uh-huh. Now it's up to you to receive. Mm -hmm. Amen. And even if you don't say nothing, mm -hmm. you ain't going the wrong you you're gonna go the wrong way. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Because you have to confess with yes. your mouth. That means you got to speak it out of your mouth. Yes, you do. Amen. Say, if you're going to say, say, say no. But if you're going to say yes, then say yes. Yes, yes amen. Now I know. Mm -hmm. I don't want to depend on anybody except me. You just got to hear it from me. Nobody else. Right. Keep going. There we go. God does not ask about our abilities or our inabilities. He asks about our Availabilities. Amen. Amen. The world wants to know all about your abilities. You know, hey, I've got an awesome education. I've got awesome this, awesome that. Amen. And you know, hey, I just build myself up. Yeah. Put myself on the throne, you know. Mm -hmm. Or our inabilities. You know, the, the, the world says you ain't good enough. Mm. You're not good enough. Huh. And they'll tell you in a heartbeat. Yeah. And they'll tell you where to go. Oh yeah. oh yeah. You got to be strong in here. Yes, you do. You got to be rooted and grounded in the Word of God. Yes. Amen. So the people can't steal your day. You know, the Bible says, "This is the day the Lord has made. I, I will rejoice and be glad in it." Mm -hmm. I don't care what they say. Yeah. They can say whatever they want to say, but you're not going to steal my joy. You're not going to steal my peace. As a matter of fact, I'm going to pull you into my peace mm -hmm. because I'm going to speak. What the word of God says. Amen. Amen. That's so good. that's not going to break me. Mm -hmm. You know. I'm going to be rooted and grounded in the word of God. Amen. Amen. And the more rooted and grounded you are in the word of God. The more faith you're going to walk in. Amen. We walk by faith. Mm -hmm. not, by sight. not by sight. Amen. Amen. Keep going. So is our availability. Are you available? Remember he's knocking. Yes. He's ringing your phone. <laughs> he's doing, sending you all kinds of friend requests. And you keep. Deleting them. Mm. <laughs> and you're not answering your phone. What's right. up with the phone, you know? Mm -hmm. 
But he's not, here's the thing is, he's not going to force you. That's it, that's it. He's not going to force you. He's not going to come against your will. Mm -hmm. This is what I will to do. Mm -hmm. And I will not to answer. Yes. Okay, that's fine. But when <laughs> when he comes and he shows up, you're gonna, it's going to be too late. Yeah. Okay, so here's where we are. Isaiah 6 and 8 says, So be available to him and serve him passionately. Isaiah 6 and 8, King James says, also, I heard a voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Mm -hmm. Then said I, Here am I, send me. Mm -hmm. Amen. Have you ever said that before? Yeah. <laughs> Lord, here am I, send me. Mm -hmm. You know, send me. You know, let's talk about little, just prayer. There's all kinds of things happening all over the world. Mm -hmm. But guess what? You can pray. Yes. You just don't think. You just say, well, I can't do anything about it. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can pray about it because mm -hmm. there's no distance in yes, prayer. No distance in prayer. Amen. You can pray about it. Say, Lord, pray this. You know, when you pray, that faith, God's uh -huh. going to hear that and say, you know, if I could find just one person to pray about this. Mm -hmm. And here you are praying about it. And God says, I'll take care of it. Right. I'll do it. So there's no distance in prayer. You know, you see somebody, pray for them. Amen. Amen. And say, well, you know, I'm better off than they are. Well, they're no good. You know, remember, <laughs> when you start feeling this way, it's time to get saved. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's time yeah. to get saved. Just remember this. If you're going to have an attitude about it, remember this. The same Jesus that died for you died for them. Exactly right. Amen. So why are we excluding these people? Mm -hmm. Because they don't meet, meet our little mold. They don't meet our little group. No, it's the same Jesus that died for it all. For God so loved the world, all the world, no. all people, that He gave Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And sacrificed Jesus for all of us. <laughs> Salvation has nothing to do with with with, with color. Mm -hmm. Right, amen. Salvation has to do with oh, yeah. salvation. Yeah. Regardless of color of your skin or how tall or how, or, or tall or, or short you are. It's mm. got nothing to do with it. Amen. amen. So here am I, send me, Lord. Have you ever said that? It's mm. time that you do. You know? Because he didn't put you here to fail, he put you here to win. Mm -hmm. And whatever he put in you, you're gonna complete it when you surrender yourself to him and says, Lord, I'm doing this under you. And we got a lot of scripture for that, but just remember that. We talked a little bit about last week about March uh, 117 uh, and 18 through 18 says, Jesus said unto them, Come ye after me, and I will make you what? Fishers of men. Jesus came and asked them to borrow their boat. He says, Go out a little ways, you know, so I could talk to these people. <laughs> they came all the way to the shoreline. And they wasn't going through the water, but Jesus says, he took the boat and he went out a little ways so people couldn't follow him that way. <laughs> you know, we come to church and we all sit in the back and nobody wants to sit in the front. <laughs> These people came to the shore, right to the shoreline, right to the front. Yes. And say, man, we want to hear what you got to say. Yes. We got to have that same attitude, you know. But he says, he paid them back. He told them what to do. He says, okay, when he was finished with his message, he says, Take the boat and take your nets and drop them here. And man, they got so many fish. They drop one net. He says, drop your nets. And they drop one net. Yeah. But they had so much, they needed help. And their boat started to sink. Mm. That's how much it caught. You know, whatever you have, make it available to him. Make yourself yes. available to him. Amen. Man, hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Glory. And straightway they forsook their nets and followed him. Uh -huh. They came, Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. Yeah. I ain't worthy for you to be here. Uh -huh. He says, you know what? He says, <laughs> you're fishers, you've gone fish, that's your profession. He says, come follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. Amen. He's telling us the same thing. I want you to be fishers of men. Amen. And that's, he's given us everything that we need. God says, I want you to be available. I want you to be passionate when it comes to loving when it comes to serving and when it comes to living for me. 
Amen. People, believers are available and passionate about everything and anything except excuses for not loving, for not serving, for not living, and for not assembling ourselves together. You know, the COVID comes, whatever you want to call it. And guess what? You know, hey, you can't assemble yourselves together anymore. You know, hey, you got to stay home. They're telling you what to do. Controlling, trying to control. And guess what? It's over. And we still haven't come back to church. Right. We still haven't come and assembled ourselves together. Are you still in fear? God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. We're supposed to come and assemble ourselves together. Amen. I guarantee you, the basketball games, the baseball games, all these sporting events, they are filled. Yeah, yeah. Amen. The yeah. church of God is empty. Mm -hmm. Amen. We can, we got we got this wrong. We got to get it right. Mm -hmm. Amen. We got to assemble ourselves together. Yeah. Amen. Be strong in Him. Yes. And the power of His might. Mm -hmm. You know, know who you are, who you are. Amen. Know who's backing you. Yeah. Amen. Why are we still holding back? You know. Well, we got TV. I watch it on TV. Is that right? So when you feel sick, don't call the local church. Call the TV. The pastor can't be there for you because you're serving the TV there. Mm -hmm. It's okay. I, I watch TV too. I watch good ministers on TV. Mm -hmm. But you know what? If you have a local church, be there. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Yeah. Be there. Be supportive. I tell you what I did. I went and told the pastor. I said, you know what? This is what God wants me this is what God sets me. And you're my pastor. I receive you as my pastor. If you haven't received your pastor, then go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> you know, go, go somewhere else, you know. But you know what? The Bible, we talked about in Ephesians chapter, uh, chapter 5, and uh, verses 1 through 15, I think it was, where God gave gifts to the church. What are the gifts to the church? Mm -hmm. The apostle, the prophet, the evangelist, the pastor, and the teacher. Yes. I didn't write this. The Bible says God gave uh -huh. these gifts to the church. Right. So if you just not accepting your pastor, you got a problem. Mm. And not your pastor. Yeah. You've got a problem. You have received the man of God. That's it. Amen. You you have got right. to correct this. Amen. Amen. People are passionate about politics. News, man, you can turn the news on and you can watch bad news all day long. Yeah. And you can, you know, your temper will go up and you'll start whatever. Mm -hmm. Crying, <laughs> jumping or hollering or what. But you know, these are bad news. We are, we have the good news in us. Uh -huh. And we need to let it out. Yeah. People are passionate about the sports, about partying, about movies, fashions, foods, cooking, or oh, whatever. But not available or passionate about God. This is not good. Amen. <laughs> Don't get mad at Pastor. I'm just really <laughs> yeah. be right. available, be passionate with a winning attitude for him on a daily basis. Uh -huh. Amen. The Bible says in uh, Psalms 118.24, this is the day the Lord has made. Yes, says I, I. Will. And you can yes. put your name there. Scratch mm -hmm. I and put Jose, we'll rejoice and be glad in it. Well, you know, but you know, the news says this. Or so-and-so says this. Or this is happening, that's happening. In all kinds of circumstances, all kinds of cares. Yeah. That's not what the Bible says. It says, this is the day the Lord has given you. He woke you up. That's a miracle. Your eyes open. Yes. Amen. Now, what are you going to do with it? Rejoice and be glad in it. Thank yeah, you, Lord, for giving me another day to serve you. What is it you want me to do? Amen. Go share my good news with people out there. Amen. Go and love those unlovable people. <laughs> Not everybody out there is real lovable. <laughs> Come on now. There's some mean folks out there. <laughs> There's a lot of rage everywhere you go. Amen. If you don't have the peace of God in you, 
you're going to fall right into it. Yeah. If you don't have a relationship, you're going to be right involved right into it. Mm -hmm. So don't don't allow yourself to be drawn yeah. out of my peace. Don't allow yourself to be uh, lose your joy. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> have a winning attitude for him daily. Never boring. Uninterested, unexcited, dull, or lukewarm. You have a choice to make here. Yeah. Yes. You can allow yourself to be boring. Man, I just heard the worst news. Bad news. You hear bad news on TV, mm -hmm. at work, mm -hmm. anywhere you go. You hear negative stuff. Yes. But I don't have to be controlled by that. Amen. Okay. Uninterested, unexcited, dull, or lukewarm. But stir up, soaring high, and not scratching with the world. Amen. I'm going to go about this. How do I get above all this? The Word of God. Yes. Amen. The Word of God. Set in, your, uh, set in the right priorities daily. Seeking Him first. Seeking first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. We just read that. Get the priorities right. Okay, He woke you up. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Spend time with Him. Seek Him first before yes. anything else. Amen. Before I go anywhere. I know what's waiting out there. Mm -hmm. World. Giants. They want to tear you up. Yep. Amen. Want to tear you evil and mean things. Amen. Don't allow that to happen. Spend time with Him. And I'm going, you know. They, uh, David spent time with Him. And made some people jealous. And they said, you know what, judge, I mean, uh, king, you said this, now you got to throw him in the lion's den. Mm. Guess what? <laughs> he threw him in there. They either maybe didn't like Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> maybe they left on him and said, ah, not kosher. you're not kosher. <laughs> but that wasn't it. God just shut their jaws. Okay. And there was peace there. The peace of God was there. And the animal and man were at peace. And their fears was gone. Amen. Amen. But God was there. He, they threw the, the, the three Hebrew children in the fiery den. Yeah. Fire furnace. Yeah. Fire they threw three and they looked. Yeah. It was so hot. The people, the soldiers that threw them in died. Yes. That was how hot it was. But then it says, wait a minute. There's, I, we threw three. But we see four. Mm -hmm. <laughs> say, what's up with this? <laughs> you know, God is with you. Yes. Know that God is with you all the time. Yeah. He never leaves you, nor forsakes you. We yeah. walk away from Him. He never yeah. walks away from us. That's right. Amen. Amen. And if you think you're hiding, you're not. <laughs> you ain't fooling nobody but yourself. <laughs> Setting the right priorities. No more excuses. Mm. You know, if you see one, don't pick it up. Yes. Don't, don't use it yeah, and yeah, don't yeah. copy because you are an original. Yes. God yeah. made you to be an original. You yeah. ain't a copy of anyone. That's it. Amen. You could be a copy of him. Amen. He says to uh, be imitators of our God. Uh -huh. Amen. But you don't have to copy anything or anyone. Keep That's going. It. Make yourself available to God, it says. You have to make yourself available to God. Lord, I'm available to be your ambassador. And if there's someone you would like me to speak with today, you can bring that person across my path. And you know what? <laughs> They're going to come across your path. And you, you saw him or her in front of you. And God says, tell them I love them. Tell them this. And guess what? You never opened your mouth. You didn't say anything. And you was there to be used. Yeah. And you had the opportunity, mm -hmm. but you let it go. You let it slide. Yeah. And the whole day you're thinking about it, and it's bugging you because you had the opportunity, yeah. and you, you let it pass by. Yes, yes. We've all been there, okay? So I'm not perfect. Keep going. Mm -hmm. We are God's workmanship created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. Ephesians Two and ten. Amen. We're his workmanship. Keep going. We got some more just like that. Mm. God only needed what? Needs a willing vessel. 
mm. to use. You're a willing vessel. Make yourself available. Man, Amen. I can't say that enough. We got to make ourselves available. Amen. Amen. Somebody needing help and nobody wants to raise their hands. <laughs> nobody wants to volunteer. Mm -hmm. Who wants to clean the church? <laughs> Everybody ran out. <laughs> nobody. Keep going. <laughs> you are God's masterpiece. That's the way he sees you. Do you see yourself this way? Let's remember it on a daily basis. You are God's masterpiece. Yeah. Let's say it like this. He don't make junk. Yeah. Yeah. He don't make junk. The junk you're looking at, mm. Jesus died for them too. Yeah. If that's the way you want to call him. Mm -hmm. But the same Jesus died for you, died for that. That's right. Amen. Died for them. You are God's masterpiece. See you yourself the way he sees you he sees you a masterpiece he sees you a winner he sees you a champion he sees you an overcomer yeah. you know what keeps i thought uh well we've said it many times but the mind is the battlefield mm -hmm. and guess where all these negative thoughts come they go right to your mind and you're thinking <laughs> negative things all the time uh -huh. well get rid of the negative and put the positive Amen. you put the word of god in there you Amen. know let those negative things go. Delete, yes. delete, delete. That's we got a lot of deleting to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. Keep on. People may give up on you, but God never. Can you say never? Never. Never, never gives up on you. That's it. Amen. Jesus had opportunities. He could. I'm sure he had opportunities to just say, "I don't want. I don't want to do this." Mm -hmm. He didn't quit. And don't you quit. Amen. He didn't make us to be quitters. He made us to be winners. Amen. Amen. Praise God. He don't give up on you. You don't give up on yourself. Amen. I'm a child of God. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Speak these things to yourself. Don't speak the negative. Speak the positive. Amen. Magnify him, not the problem. Amen. You know, yes. we, we got it backwards. We're always magnifying the negative instead of the positive. Keep going. God has uniquely gifted you to help someone. <clears throat> Be available as God opened the door for you to do so. He's gifted you. He's put gifts, talents in you. You know, that's why we don't have to copy each other because I may be gifted different. And I am because he compares the our physical body, the church, with the church. It's just one head, one body, mm -hmm. but many parts. Right. And all these parts in this body functioning together makes this body function just the way God wants us to function. No male functions. Working together in unity. Amen. And that's what we're here doing is working together in unity. But be available. Amen. Keep going. Yeah. <clears throat> that's all. Be yourself. No matter what other people think, God made you the way you are for a reason. No Besides, an original is always worth more than a copy. Amen. Amen. And I wrote this at the bottom too. It says, be original, be yourself, and be available. Mm -hmm. Amen. Regardless of what people say, be yourself. I don't have to copy anybody else. I don't have to try to be like somebody else. If I'm going to imitate somebody, I'm going to imitate Jesus. Amen. Because that's what Ephesians 5, 1 and 2 says. Yeah. To Im be imitators of Christ. Amen. I've had so many people say, well, you know, I was born this way and nothing can change me. Mm -hmm. You're right. Nothing can change you yeah. if you don't want to be changed. Yeah, I'm gonna be changed. Yeah. But you can be changed. Yes. Mm -hmm. Amen. Start imitating Jesus mm -hmm. and things are going to change. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing when babies are changed because yes. yeah. everything is much better. Yeah, you go ahead. For sure. Be who God meant you to be and you will set the world on fire. Mm -hmm. Amen. Listen to this. <laughs> Peter was ready to give his life for Jesus. They come to take him and when somebody says, he's one of them. He says, uh-uh. Not me. <laughs> Three times. Jesus told him he's ready to fight. 
He said, be, you know, before the cock crows three times, he says, you'll deny me three times. Before the cock crows, he says, yeah. you'll deny me three times. And he says, yeah, he's one of them. Three times. Cock crows. Mm. Jesus turns and sees Peter. And Peter turned and sees Jesus. Mm. He didn't have to say anything. Mm. But he remembered what he said. Yeah. Amen. But guess what? He didn't give up on Peter. Why? Because on Pentecostal, Peter delivered a message. The 3,000 were saved. So Jesus didn't give up on him. And he ain't gave up on you. So why are you still sitting? Why are you still holding back? Why are you defeated? Right. Amen. Wherever you are, you know, it's time to come back home. Yeah. It's time to receive him as Lord and Savior. It's time yeah. to get mm -hmm. off your cold sea and it's time to get busy for God. Amen. Mm -hmm. You didn't whoever told you, whoever said it, if they didn't have scripture for it, mm -hmm. don't receive it. Yeah. Amen. Don't receive it. Somebody said, well, you know what? God can't use you anymore. He could have told Peter the same thing. He says, you deny me three times. You know what? I can't use you anymore. That's a lie. Yeah. Because the Bible says on Pentecost Day, Peter delivered a message. 3,000 came to God. So yeah. God can still use you. Yes. As long as you don't quit. Mm -hmm. As long as you ain't defeated or hung up on whatever, on the bad news. It's time for you to press on. You know, dust yourself off, get up, and let's get going. Amen. Yeah. I'm going to read you a story here in a few minutes. Mm. Who let all these excuses go? Jesus made no excuse. That's it. Amen. He came as a man, but he, he made no excuses. And we don't have to take no, make no excuses. Yeah, yeah. Jesus is always available. So can we. But it's mm. your choice. Are you willing to? Say it and do it and yeah. follow it and be his imitator. Listen to this. God is not looking for perfect people. God is looking for available people mm -hmm. that are passionate to serve him. Yes. So you don't have to be perfect. Leave. All you have to do is be available. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. So you yeah. asked me what availability is. Available is, this is available definition. Ready for service. Mm -hmm. Ready for use readily obtainable and readily accessible mm. ready for use are you ready for use mm. make yourself available all you have to do is yeah. tell him let him know getting fired passion is getting fired up about serving him and obeying him passion is getting your blood uh, pump your blood pumping mm -hmm. excited motivated enthused about him yeah amen you got to do these. He said, stir yourself up. Nobody's going to do it for you. There's too many people out there just jealous. There's too many people out there that don't care about you. But you get yourself stirred up. You get yourself connected to him. Amen. Getting and staying stirred up on a daily basis. Not just once in a while. That's called lukewarm. Once in a while, part-time. We're not just part-time Christians. We need to be full-time Christians. Yeah, yeah. Or believers. Mm -hmm. Because the Bible says the enemy, the devil, mm -hmm. is full-time. Yeah. Part-time believer cannot defeat a full-time yeah. devil. Yeah. Amen. We want to do part-time stuff and then demand a full-time God. Huh. That ain't going to work. Amen. He says... <laughs> You can't have both and dance with both. You got to let go of one. <laughs> stay hungry. Stay thirsty. With him. You know? You've been there. We've all been there. We're called to be available and passionate for him. Yeah. What's your passion? Hopefully, God first. Being available and serving. I've said that enough. I hope it's getting in you. God gave his best. Jesus gave his best. We must give our best. What is your best? Be available. Yeah. Be passionate and serving. Amen. This is what he wants. This is he knows what's in you. He knows you better than you know yourself. Yeah. He knows all your shortcomings. Oh, yeah. He knows all the negative things about you oh, and loves you the most. Yes. So you go to the one that knows you the most. Uh -huh. And say, Lord, here am I, send me. Use me. Mm -hmm. And guess what? 
He's going to use you. <laughs> Available, passionate servant, serving <clears throat> comes to mind. Excited, motivated, stirred up, excited to be believer, excited. God loves me unconditionally and he thinks highly of me. This is the way you got to see yourself. The way God sees you. Because the world will bring you down. All these negative thoughts will hit your mind. And if you're not renewing your mind with the word of God, you're going to see yourself as no good. Because the Bible says that. I mean, excuse me, because the world says that. And because people tell you these things. And you're going to see yourself the way they see you. I say, wait a minute. You're talking to the wrong person. The Bible says 2 Corinthians 5.17. It says, I'm a new creature in Christ. I had a spiritual birth. So the old is gone, the new is in. I'm not receiving the negative stuff from you. I'm receiving what the word of God says. And if you got something for me and you ain't got scripture for it, you can keep it. <laughs> well, I'm not going to receive it. Are you receiving it? No. This are not trash cans. Okay? These ears are big, but they're not trash cans. <laughs> and I'm not receiving trash. Amen. I'm only receiving what the word of God says. And I'm going to put that in my heart. And it's going to grow. Amen. And my faith is going to grow. And fear is going to go. Yeah. Amen. So excited. God loves me unconditionally. He thinks highly of me. See yourself the way he sees you. You know how he sees you? He sees you are called. You have a calling in your life. If nobody ever told you that before, now you know. You have a call in your life. Yes. He's called you. And he's anointed you. And he's qualified you. Everything you need to do for him is you're qualified. The world says you're unqualified. Jesus says, I qualified you. I called you, I anointed you, and I qualified you. So, now, I'm going to get to stepping. But I'm going to feed on the word so that I can step out in faith and not fear. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Excited about Jesus. Excited about serving. Excited about uh, assembling ourselves together. You don't have to stay home anymore. That's it. Come on, assemble yourselves together. Amen. Come on. We need we need to be assembled together, you know. We need to encourage one another. We need to strengthen one another. Encourage, encourage one another. Be there for one another. Pray for one another. Jesus, your greatest example, so passionate, so passionate to fulfill his mission. Lord, I need your strength. You think? Jesus went to the Father and says, Father, I need your strength. So he's a man. So he sees all the, all, all, all the weaknesses. He sees all the, 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 the bad things going on in the world. He says, Father, I need your strength. He says, you got it. Lord, I need your strength. Yep. Amen. We're his children. The passion of the Christ. Mm. The passion. He loved you so much. He had a passion to fulfill what Father sent him to do. The passion of the Christ. I don't know if you've seen that movie. But endure life is better. He came and he gave it all. The passion of the Christ. God sacrificed his son. Jesus gave it all. Remember church. He paid the price he didn't owe. And I owe a debt I cannot pay. Amen. Keep going. The power of God is available to you today, daily, to help you do whatever you need to do. And with a smile on your face. Yeah. <laughs> you don't go with a frown and tell somebody, God loves you. <laughs> is that right? Man, if I want to look like that, <laughs> forget it. <laughs> but you put a smile on your face. Mm -hmm. Amen. Say, wow, yeah. man. I see something different about you. Amen. God's going to bring new people around you. God's going to put the right people around you yes. and take the wrong people away. Mm -hmm. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Lord. Keep going. And this is good. Back then, uh, we got a little rack where we had all kind of little uh, scripture nuggets. And this is one of them. And I've got only a few. There's a whole bunch of them up there, but I'm going to read you a couple of them. Mm -hmm. It's called the Beatitudes. The Beatitudes. Mm. <laughs> Listen to a few of these. 
you can take a picture there if you want to or they got uh, <laughs> some back there you can take it, it says be available be committed okay. be yourself oh, be blessed be giving mm. I have nothing to give you got yourself yes. you can give yourself yeah. be compassionate you know when you're compassionate you're like Jesus you're loving people that are unlovable Right, boy. Amen. And you see that on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. And you want to fix it. You know how you want to fix it? You want to fix it physically by laying a hand on them. Yep. That's not the right <laughs> way to do it. Or saying things you don't want to say. That's it. Yeah. When you see people, see them through his eyes. Yes. See it through his eyes of compassion when you see people. Amen. Because the same Jesus died for them. Be a champion. Be victorious. Be an overcomer. Be thankful. If you got nothing else to say, thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you. Be thankful. Be grateful. Be kind. Yes. Be joyful. Just a few more. Be ready. Mm. Be ready. Be excited. Yes. Be glad. Mm. Be joyful. And be enthusiastic. Amen. Amen. I love Jesus, you know. If you just want to be ashamed and you just come and assemble ourselves together, we step out of these walls and you go straight to the bar. <laughs> or you go straight to somewhere else, hang out with the guys that are not serving God. That's not that's not right. Amen. You're ashamed. He said, if you're ashamed of me, I'll be ashamed of you. Mm -hmm. Amen. And there's plenty more. I just said a few. Be happy. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I don't know about you, but uh, we're not going to finish this today. <laughs> we're not trying to finish this. You know, every message, I just want you to grab something that God has for you. We don't have to finish a message. That's it. Amen. We just want to share it with you. So say, man, I will come here to receive, and I receive. Amen. Amen. I was blessed by the best. He's going to bless you. Amen. And he's going to set you free. Amen. Amen. Passionate believers, listen, they talk about it. They show it yeah. passionately yeah. with smiles. They yeah. walk the walk and talk the talk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Amen. When you walk the walk and you talk the talk, what are you going to do? Speak the word. Yeah. Speak what the word of God says. Watch your words and watch your actions. Yeah. What is the enemy goes around and doing? Mm -hmm. Says the enemy goes around as a roaring lion, yeah, a roaring lion. seeking who he may devour. How does he know how to, who to devour? No, because he he's knows. listening to what's coming out of your mouth. Yeah. He's listening to the words yeah. you're speaking. Yeah, right. And you're opening doors for him to come in. Yeah. I say, well, I didn't mean for that to happen. Huh. Well, then watch your words and watch your actions. Yeah. Because the words. Are carriers of life or death. Mm -hmm. Words go and accomplish what it set out to do. Yeah. Amen. So speak faith-filled words. If it's not faith-filled words, don't say it. As bad as you want to say it. Remember, we are we, we try being. We are spirit. We have a soul, mind, will, and emotions, and we have a flesh. Yes. Amen. The spirit you feed the word of God. You renew your mind. With the word of God mm -hmm. and your flesh, you got to crucify. Because yeah. the flesh wants to be lazy. Mm -hmm. The flesh wants to do nothing. Amen. But we got to push ourselves. Yes. Amen. Yes. We got to press on. Passionate believers get passionate for Him. Used to be passionate for the world, mm -hmm. used to be passionate for other things, but now. I am passionate for him. Amen. The choice is yours. Why not get passionate about God and serve him, serve his people passionately on a daily basis? We're going to stop right there. Amen. Amen. Got a couple of scriptures I want to read for you, and we're, we'll close up. Amen. Don't worry. Next week, we'll pick it up here. We talk about four passionate people. Amen. Four passionate people. Four friends that took one friend to Jesus. Amen. And we can do the same thing. He wants to use you to bring 
your friends or your enemies to him amen and he wants to bless them yeah. but we need to do our part we need to be available for him to use us uh colossians 3 and 23 i'm going to read that to you colossians 3 and 23 if you don't have that underlined highlighted underlined but it says colossians 3 and 23 says and whatever you do do it heartily as unto the lord and not unto men that's right. That's okay. I've already made up my mind. I'm gonna do it under you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Whether anybody's here or not, we talked about the ministry of helps, you know. Yeah. Make up your mind, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm doing this under you, and I'm gonna meet people that I ain't never met before. Mm -hmm. But I'm gonna receive them mm -hmm. as if you's there. Yes. And I'm gonna do it under you, and and see them with your love and your compassion. Mm -hmm. Amen and see him with his eyes mm -hmm. that's what we see in we, we see him with love and compassion amen so we're doing it under him and not under men and the next one is hebrews 6 and 10. hebrews chapter 6 and verse 10. Mm -hmm. uh, For God is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which he has shown towards his name, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. So he's not going to forget about anything that you do. Amen. So don't think he forgets. He'll remember and he knows what you do. Amen. And when he remembers, he's going to bless you. And when he blesses you, you are blessed by the best. Amen. So praise God. Father, we just thank you for your word. Help us, Lord, to apply it to us, to, yes. to our lives, Father, and help us, Lord, to be available for you to use us, Lord, on a daily basis. In Jesus' Amen. precious name. Amen. Amen. So Amen. praise God. If you're watching and you never accepted, now's the time. We're going to give you the opportunity to receive him as your Lord and Savior. So, you know, if you sin, so just admit it. And quit it. Yeah. <laughs> and then just say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. That message hit me. And I need you now. And I want to make myself available to you. To be used of you. Amen. Amen. So receive him as your Lord and Savior. And you know what? It just It's time. Once you do that, old is out, new is in. And it's time for you to be busy for him. Amen. Get yourself busy or serving him. Amen. Yes. Not just busy, busy, but yeah. serving Him. Amen. So, yeah. praise God. If you have any part of your body that's not acting right, mm -hmm. you have any sickness coming against you, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you're healed. Yeah. Also says that spirit of iniquity, we command you to go in Jesus' name. He said, any male functions in my body, I command them to line up with the Word of God and be healed and function normal the way God created it to function. Amen. Amen. Yes. This body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. So we just speak total healing and restoration in our bodies in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. So praise God. I receive my healing. Amen. Because I need it too. <laughs> praise God. Amen. Amen. So right now we give you time. It's time to, to give. And uh, if you're watching our website, NBC Big Ben. Dot com and then hit that donate button if you're mailing it NBC PO Box 252 Marfa Texas 79843 so we want to thank you for joining us be blessed have a blessed week and know that God loves you and we love you God bless amen